big camera. Oh my God. My life is so fast. Music is like the only thing that can slow me down. Like, make sure everything's back on track. Let's record my vocals. And this is nothing professional. Like this is literally just me jotting down stuff. Whatever is in my head and I gotta get it out, like this is the best way to do that. Bigger than my city, got a legacy. I'm just trying to find a new way that I could better me. No, I got that dog inside my bones. I got that pedigree. Yeah. That's the take. You just gotta change your point of view and how you look at Blanche Johnson. Up and in from Blanche Johnson. Blanche Johnson will give you buckets and bars. She's an elite basketball player and she's an elite rapper. It's never been done before. They recognize me by my voice, I'm on the radio. My father's the reason why I started making music. And I made a promise I will win, so I'm still grinding. I hope you looking down at me, I hope you still smiling. I'm gonna be a mogul and a CEO. Flage the brand, I really wanted to have substance. Man, I'm just gonna do a big, I'm telling you. They used to say I couldn't do it, now they clapping for me. She could for sure go platinum. She could do anything, I think, in music. She has an opportunity to play pro ball someday. Winning championships and winning Grammys. She's gonna do this. I'm from Savannah, Georgia. Growing up, I was always either pooping, playing football, baseball, anything with a ball. The name Flage came from her dad. He was so excited when he was like, if I'm having a girl, I'm naming her Flage Monet. My dad's rap name is Camouflage. My name is Flage, Flage Monet. It, it rhymed, so I guess that's why he did it. <laughs> I was like, Flage, how are you gonna spell it? You know what I'm saying? He broke it down. He's like, F-L-A-U-J-A-E. And it fits her. She's a Flage. <laughs> The feedback was just incredible, um, and which I knew it would be, um, because he, you know, he just was that talented, and then he just had a style about himself that was different at the time, and it just resonated with a lot of hip hop fans. All these young cats out here who ain't never been to high school and all they know is the streets, they struggle. I just remember him leaving the house. I said he was going to the studio. And then maybe like 12 or 1 o'clock, I got that call that he had been shot. So, you know, me being pregnant with Flage, I'm four months pregnant. Like, all I'm thinking about is couldn't be possible. It was devastating. Savannah was a rough city, you know, a lot of killing. A lot of senseless violence. It's kind of like he was in the middle of that stuff, you know, being popular in the city, you know, got involved in things that really um, he shouldn't have been involved in, you know, um, just the company that he kept. It just caught up with him. I didn't tell Flaje who her dad was for a long time. I did tell her dad passed away, but she didn't know what happened, how it happened. Other people in the schools and people in the streets told her. As a little kid, I'm like, dang, like, I don't got my dad, like, that's lame, like. And that's how I expressed it. But as I got older, I feel like it was missing pieces to the puzzles of myself and how I am and who I am. He the reason that I started. Like, my father's the reason why I started making music. Like, that's the biggest influence for me, because that's the reason I picked up a mic, so I could be, like, more closer to him in a sense. She was like, Mom, I'm his only daughter. Like, think I need to finish this? 
<laughs> and I'm like, you know, I want you to walk in your shoes. I said, you wear a size six. He wore a 10 and a half. I said, walk in your shoes. But if that's something you feel like you truly want to do, you do it. You the last heir. She said, Mama, I want to do this. I think she picked up the rapping for her daddy and then fell in love with it. I'm, I'm eight years old, seven, eight years old. My mom throws these annual birthday parties for my dad, even though he passed away. And everybody comes, it's a big performance. And they plan it, and I'm like, Mom, I want to go there. She was like, it's a club. You can't, you can't, what are you talking about? You're seven years old, you cannot come. Like, I'm a rap, I'm gonna I'm I'm go there and I'm a rap. We brought her in through the back, because she was so young. So she was in the dressing room just chilling, you know, we had our little snacks and stuff. But it had gotten late, it was like 10 o'clock. And she fell asleep. So eventually when we was like, let's just go in and get her on, she woke up and act like she was never asleep. Like, went out there and rocked the stage. It was amazing. Kia came to my house. She says, gee, basically it's time to get back to work. <laughs> you know, uh, I got Fly J, um, I got the CD in the car. You know, she had some songs on it. So we, uh, I went to the car and we sat and we listened to the CD. I couldn't believe what I was hearing. I was hearing her dad all over again. Flaje had a love for basketball early on. And you know, me being a mom, I'm just trying to figure out what they do. I put her in ballet. She hated it. She was the only little girl up there crying the whole time. She was like, I don't want to do this. I want to play basketball. I said, Flaje, you're four years old. There are no basketball teams for a four-year-old. Then I met this guy at the boys club. He was like, listen, I got a six another team. None of them know what they're doing at this point. Put on the team with the boys. I'm at the Frank Callen Boys and Girls Club. I got my J's on, I got my arm sleeves on, got my headband on. And we had the jump ball. And I'm like, Mom, I don't know which way to go, which way I go. <laughs> they tip it up. <laughs> and like, all I remember is just like, I was just balling, like I was just hooping. I ain't know which way to go. I think I ran the wrong way. But man, I just had the best time of my life. <laughs> It was just uh, raw talent. She didn't have what a trainer needed to show her. She was teaching herself off looking at Kobe play, looking at Iverson. Oh! I didn't start taking basketball really serious until probably like my junior year, like into my sophomore year. Cause I ain't know, like I was trying to rap. Like, I'm like, I'm finna move to LA, cop me a crib, sign to a label, go be. <laughs> Coach seen me, he was like, you could go to college. And I'm like, college? I don't know. No, nobody college. Like, <laughs> they gonna pay me to go to college? Like, how this work? I didn't know nothing, so I'm like, put me on the phone with a college coach. They tell me I'm going to college. I'm, I might take you serious. Coach, my old miss called me. She like, Flaje, I want to offer you a full scholarship. I said, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> I said, what, what, you, what you mean? Like, but ever since then, the offers just started rolling in. Flaje Johnson, a star on the court and on the mic. They say, Flaje, you gonna hoop or drop an MP3. I'm at McDonald's, man, I'm trying to win an MVP. But my album coming soon, so I guess we gonna see. A lot of teams, coaches, they ain't really wanna recruit me because they didn't know how serious I was about basketball. 24 hours in a day, we all got the same 24 hours, bro. But I do it, man, what you do with yours, that's up to you. They would call and they would ask, what do you love the best? Once you ask my child, what she like the best, that means you was giving her a choice. And I didn't want my kid with a choice. Don't put no ceilings on my child. 
Flaw J's here, y'all. I'm so excited for my baby. LSU took me to the studio. That was really it. That's all they had to do. You really showed me that they were invested in my music. She came to a monthly luncheon that I have with three, four hundred boosters there. She rapped and they gave her a standing ovation. And we're talking about people, I guarantee you, that have no idea about that world. Kim was just different. And I knew she was an OG. You know what I'm saying? Like, Coach Moki's like, listen, I want you to go rap. So I, we made a great, great choice with LSU. Y'all see it. Yeah, boy! <laughs> Yeah, boy. <laughs> she heavy. I said, hold up. This Rock Nation on my phone? And it was like, yeah. I said, well, do y'all know she a rapper, too? So I'm like, no, we don't know nothing about her being a rapper. I said, but I got some hits right here in my phone I'm about to send y'all. And I need y'all to call me back when y'all done listen. Sent them over. Three, five minutes later, they calling me back. Next thing you know, I pick up the phone. Beep, 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 beep. I'm like, hello, who this is? They're like, this the president of Rock Nation. I said, what? It's like, congratulations. I'm like, what? So then I got flew out to New York. We ate dinner. Nice hotel. Turn up. I'm in the Rock Nation building, kicking it. Want my feet up. I'm in the studio room. Turn. Her message is universal. It, it's uh, even a message that, like Jay himself, is, like is very core to his music. It's inspirational. It's aspirational. It, she's trying to motivate people. She's lyrical, so it's like if Lil Baby didn't curse, from the moment I heard her, like a fully formed artist already in terms of skill, at least in polish, which is very, very rare given her age. It just made so much sense to us here to support her uh, and bring her in. I told my baby, don't take no of that ass. I said, no, you about to get NIL deals. Let them keep their money. All we need is them to push the buttons. It's a licensing agreement. Uh, gives us the right, obviously, to put her music out on all streaming platforms in exchange for marketing, access to a marketing budget and other funds that we'll use. It is rare to be able to get that, that strong support, that funding, and then still be able to own your music at the same time. It allowed me to own my masters and have creative control and be a real boss, like, set me up. I feel good, I feel blessed. Playing at the highest level, being coached by a Hall of Fame coach, it's a blessing, for real. Johnson collects it and scoops it in with the right hand. And a swift pass to Flaugé Johnson. Three ball, yes, Flaugé Johnson. It was a big adjustment. Just like playing alongside really great players, like you come from high school and like you the, you the best player on your team, simple. Johnson, she's gonna launch one, and it's good. I didn't play defense in high school, but when I got here, I had to play defense. So like, you gonna play defense or you gonna? <laughs> Taken away by Johnson, beautiful defensive play. Scoring is easy. Can you defend? Can you stop somebody? Can you get a big rebound when we need it for the game? That's what I learned how to do. Offensive rebound, and it's good. Put back in by Flaugé Johnson. The freshman was in the right place at the right time. Even though she's a freshman, she still has a big voice on the team, and we, um, we look to her as a leader. She's always working hard. She always wants to get better. Johnson's got it. Time ticking down in the third quarter. She is one that is going to outwork anybody else. Flage's just getting started when practice 
on the court is over because if you ever go into her dorm room, you're just going to be um, witnessing what she does. She starts creating, you know, as they say, freestyling, and she's very good at it. Yeah, look. And I know my day finna come, so I just grunt. And I just keep my head up, and I'm just grinding it out. I know what I'm about, but really, they just finding it out. I'm so scared to keep it clear because I know whatever. You're supposed to be, so you're too scared. I know they waiting for me. Yeah. I feel like I came in at the most amazing time where NIL is now bubbling. And, you know, they throwing out these deals, and mom, we taking them. Today's call is all about you. I understand that you have a vision for your merchandise line. So I'm just, I'm right. a rapper and a basketball player. So right. I didn't want the big four to be my overall blurring. Like that's just me as a basketball player. And like as an alter ego in a sense, you know what I'm saying? And I really want to visually separate that from me as an artist. Because Flage the brand as a rapper and big four as a basketball player, those two separate entities. You feel me? So, right. so that's, yep. that's the whole goal with that. Okay, bet. Okay. That was pretty good. That's going to be like... Where I release my merch, they're going to help me start my brand. I'm very excited about it. Some of the bigger ongoing deals will be uh, like Puma, JBL, Red Bull. She's been able to really support her family, you know, support her loved ones, you know, at home in Savannah. It's been really good for Fly J. And it's going to get even better. That was like the, um, the amount I want my companies to grow, like, over the years. Like, and, and collectively, all of my companies, from my music, to my basketball, to my merch, from my YouTube. I just write everything down. The whole wall will be filled up soon. I think she's balancing it well because she can handle it, so it was never a lot of pressure for her for some reason. Like, she made it her schedule. I wake up in the morning, there's nobody here. Nobody nowhere. I be feeling like I'm up before the whole world. Oh. 5 a.m. Shots. Class, 9.30. Hey, anybody got pencil? We got workouts, 9.45 to 10.30. My coach, recover, do homework. Now I have class, 11.30 to 12.30. Practice, 1.30 to 6. That's when we have four-hour practices, plus recovery and weight. And then, like, I always want to get some extra work in, so I get, like, a lot of shots up. Until 9 o'clock, and I'm back to sleep, and I'm back at it. I'm trying to stretch my days. Flage just, she different. I got to make it. I'm tired of waiting. I gotta take it. You get a basketball player that wanna be a rapper sometimes. That's already a basketball player. And you get a rapper that now wanna play basketball. But you never see a person doing both at the same time on both of these big stages. She's an elite basketball player and she's an elite rapper. It's never been done before. Flaugé is the first rapper ball. I gotta make it. I'm really creating a blueprint for it, so I'm being real, I'm real methodical about what I do. You know what I'm saying? So I got my hand in everything. When it's all said and done, I'm gonna be a mogul and a CEO. Man, I'm gonna do it big, I'm telling you. I know that I can do it, now I gotta make them believe, and I don't work too hard for you to come take it from me. I think about my dad every day, just about, I know you're proud of me, but I just wish he could see what I'm doing. It's my goal to carry the torch and finish that legacy. And making something bigger than anybody ever thought it could be. I'm ready to take over the world.